What is up YouTube viewers? Today is a big debut. We are finally getting our videos put back out there. Today we are going to catch some invasive species right here. We're catching some jeweled cichlids, maybe some little tilapias, and a few other things. But we're going to go right down here in this little ditch canal area and get started. Okay viewers, just to give you a little look-see at what we're going to be fishing in. Not much water, not really, really deep. A lot of vegetation because we've had quite a bit of rain down here but down here we've been fishing for I would say a couple months now and what we've caught out here are a lot of little jewel cichlids and like little juvenile very small um, mitis cichlids and stuff all the invasive species that are here um, also we get a few mosquito fish uh, we get a couple of mollies out of here not the colorful mollies they're more like the balloon mollies and they're kind of gray and bland in color but uh yeah we get a few of those and we collect those to go and feed our fish at home in our predator pond um let's see usually we go right here so up here in the brush area is usually where the fish like to hide we have a couple of worms we have bread we have hot dog but in this area worms seem to work the best to get the fish out and half of the time the fish don't even hook themselves so we'll cast it out and they actually just suck the worm in and we'll fling it up here real quick and the fish will go flying or land down on the ground and then we just pick them up and put them in the bucket so we're gonna go ahead and get our lines all set up and we'll show you guys how we do it stay tuned so here are our worms that we have, we're just going to put some of these on. We'll either rip them in half or put them on the hook on full. And the fish just suck in one in. And that's how we get them. So let's go ahead, bait up, and go down there and see how many we can get today. I'm able to fling one up here, but it's starting to bounce down. Do, do, do. Ta-da! Oh, no! No, 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 no! <laughs> Ta-da! This is what we're going for. Now this is a jeweled cichlid. Now if you watch any of our previous videos, you'll see where I talked about these guys are in the aquarium trade. But they are an invasive species down here in Florida. And they are in a very aggressive fish because they are part of the cichlid family. But this right here is exactly what we're going for. Perfect size to feed our predatory fish at home. So we're going to go over here. We're going to add it to our live well buckets and keep on fishing. See my husband's caught a few of them as well. That's good. Let's keep going guys. Or we can sit here and watch and see if the pro or the master right here gets any. <laughs> oh, a big one. And just like that, I was able to get another one, but this one... I hooked, and now this one's different from a jeweled cichlid. This is a uh, mitis cichlid, and his mouth is a little bit bigger to get hooked, which is also why we like to use these small hooks. So yeah, this is a mitis cichlid, completely different from the jeweled cichlid, but still an invasive species, and also perfect food for our largemouth bass, our gars, paku, everything else that we have in the predatory pond. Hey, real quick guys, comment down below on how many you think we'll be able to fill up in that bucket. We'll count them in the end when we bring them home to feed our monster fish. Remember, drop the comment down below. And he finally got one.
Okay. While he stands out in the sun, I have this beautiful shaded area over here where I'm not going to sweat so profusively like him. And we're going to see what we can get. Okay guys, I have gotten another jeweled cichlid. This one's a little bit smaller and it's my third fish that I've caught so far. This one might be a female one. It's not as bright colored as the other ones. But we're going to add her here to the live well. So you can see all those ones in there that we got. Now remember, if you're subscribed to our YouTube channel and you haven't yet subscribed, what are you doing waiting around? Subscribe to this channel. Drop that comment below on how many you think we'll be able to get in there. And also give this video a thumbs up and hit that notification bell. Come on guys, we're going to get back out there, start making these videos again. Summer has been a little bit hard and difficult for us, but that's not a problem. We're going to get back into it. Ooh, look, you can see some fish going to it. Come here and get it. Come on. You see it? Ooh, one's got it. Ooh. Ah, did you guys see that? Tried to take off with my worm and jumped right off. Okay. Ooh, they're attacking it right away. Well, ah, ha, ha, ha. It's kind of a little hard to do one-handed, but... I think I can get it on video. Okay, there they go. They're eating it again. Ta-da! Flying fish! That one I believe I may have hooked. I did hook this one. And this is a... looks like a little bluegill. Or a little sunfish. Perfect for our bass at home. Oh, we're gonna add them in there. So I'm gonna go and do that and every time I get one I'll just show you guys a little video so you don't have to watch and see how boring I actually am with fishing. I got a jeweled cichlid and my husband just tossed this one up to me. So there's two more invasive species going home to provide lovely food and nutrition to our other fish at home. Doing good so far, not too bad. Okay viewers, so we're heading over to a different part here at the same park. Um, we're going to go to a little spillway drain system over here. Usually there are quite a few small fish over there. We're going to fish there because it's starting to get dark and we like to try a couple different areas out in the same park, not just stick to one spot. Kind of disperse the population a little bit. But yeah, we're coming up on it right over here. It's nice, clear water. It's pretty easy to see the fish. Um, last week, the kids were here and they actually caught a really huge tilapia out of here, which we ended up baking in the oven. It was quite delicious. But yep, just this little spot right here. Uh, not a whole lot going on. Usually back over in that area is where the bigger fish like to hang out. And over here in this spot are the little cichlids, little tilapias, um, just the smaller fish. And I see actually quite a bit. Alrighty viewers, the husband is taking a dive into the shallow area. On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> uh, he has spotted a possible apple snail. It is. So we are now going to confirm if that snail is alive. Dunna. 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 Oh, it is not alive, folks. It is not alive. You see another one? Don't go sinking. Oh, man, ladies and gentlemen. You don't have to be that hardcore, sweetie. It's okay. Look, he's scaring all the fishies out. All those tilapias. Ooh, you scared out a pretty Texas cichlid. This one's alive. It's alive, guys. Now, apple snails are also another invasive species here in Florida. Oh, you chased out a gar. Oh, oh. Where'd that even, I don't even know where that came from. There was a gar that literally just went between his legs, ladies and gentlemen, and I did not even see it till last second. 
So this is an apple snail. If you've watched any of our previous videos, we'll see where we've collected quite a few of those down in Miami when we also went fishing for some invasive species out there as well. Um, apple snails are an invasive species, but they are not exactly a bad invasive species. They are really good bottom feeders. Uh, they clean up the algae. They do a really good job, but we do like to collect some every now and then for our ponds because they do a fantastic job of cleaning. Alrighty guys, so we are over here at our corner. This is the area that's got the pretty big tilapias, quite a few gar, and every now and then a bowfin or two is here. It'd be nice to get a bowfin again. We had a bowfin in our predatory pond and the bowfin jumped out. It jumped ship and it was a little too late before we found him. So we ended up getting some netting for our pond. Um, so if we ever get a bowfin again or any fish that are going to jump out, uh, we have netting now that we can put over the big part of the pond.